Hi everybody, this is Emmy from hectanuga.etsy.com and I'm here today with my friends at allfreecrochet.com to show you how to make a very easy beginner loopy flower. This flower has three layers, one, two, three. You can make as many loops as you want in the ring. You can make it with any size yarn or any size hook. I'm going to start and show you how to make that today. Now in crochet, you always start out with a slip knot. To make a slip knot, wind the yarn around your fingers, place the hook through, pick up the yarn, pull it through the loop, and then tighten up your slip knot. Now don't tighten it too tightly. You'll want to be able to do some work in it. Okay. So to make our flower, the foundation is going to be a ring in the center. And to make our ring, we're going to chain 5 and slip stitch to join and form a ring. To chain and crochet, it simply means you pick up the yarn with your hook and you bring it through one stitch. Now that's a chain stitch. You can see it looks like a chain. We're going to make 5 chain stitches in our center circle, so we need 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there we have our 5 chain stitches we're going to slip stitch into this stitch to make a ring. To slip stitch, we just place the, the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn, bring it through that stitch and the stitch on the hook. So now we have formed a ring and we can make our loops which will form our petals on our flower. So for each one of our petals, we're going to chain five. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And we have our chain five, and each one of these loops is going to form a petal. So we're going to have to bring the end of this loop, this chain five, to form a loop. We're going to make a single crochet here in the ring. To make a single crochet, we're going to place the hook through the center ring, pick up the yarn and bring it through, and now we have two loops on our hook. We're going to pick up the yarn again, bring it through both loops and that forms a single crochet. Now you can make as many loops as you want in your in your flower. I'll make five. You could make ten, you could make twenty. It doesn't matter. As many as you like. So chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the ring. So there's our second single crochet and move our tail away, our yarn end, so we don't get caught. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the ring. One, two, three, four, now if I made another single crochet here, we would have a bit of a bulk between our petals. So instead of doing that, I like to just slip stitch at the base of the very first petal. So slip stitch, pull it through, and right through the stitch on the hook. And now we're going to fasten off. And fasten off simply means we pull the yarn, pick up the yarn, and pull it through the last stitch. And then we can tug on that and give it a good tight finish. So that's one layer of our flower. I like to turn my flower around and tie a square knot with the ends of the yarn. Now I've gone ahead and made a couple more layers. We trim these off now because they're going to be trapped inside the layers. If you wanted to, you could thread those yarn ends into a needle and weave them back and forth inside your flower. But I'm going to show you how to layer these now to make a layered flower. So this will be our middle layer with the five chain stitches for a, a petal. I made went ahead and made another layer which has three chain stitches in each loop because we want to make them progressively larger or smaller for our flower. So I went ahead and I also made 
a larger layer and this one has seven chain stitches in each loop. So then what I'm going to do to assemble this flower is I'm going to take the yarn end from the largest one which will be on the bottom. I'm going to take the longest yarn end I'm going to thread it through a yarn needle and now I'm going to layer the three layers. This is the largest layer on the bottom there's the center layer that we just made there's the other layer that I had previously we have three layers to our flower so I'm just going to take the yarn needle and I'm going to bring it through all three layers of our flower to secure them and it doesn't matter how many layers you have we're always going to do this the same way so now we're going to add a button to our needle we're going to position our button exactly where we would like it like that and then we're going to pass the yarn through all the layers of the flower right to the back and we're going to pull our button in snugly okay so there's the front now we turn it around we see we've got three layers to our flower and here's the yarn end so you can just take several stitches here at the back like that and then with this yarn end still connected you can now sew this flower to a hat or a bag or a purse or wherever you'd like to use it and that's your three layered flower you could make like I say you can make five layers ten layers it doesn't matter there's your super easy beginner loopy flower brought to you today by allfreecrochet.com where you can get lots of free patterns on crochet and tutorials and tips so please drop by sometime thanks for watching